until it happened again. I'm completely emphatically out at tortillas. This time, I think I'm going to do something different. I think I'm going to make some flatbread. A little bit thicker, just a few different ingredients and a little different weight. Let's do it. All right, let's run down our ingredients. Water, some oil, salt, sugar, yeast, two cups of flour, bread flour. We're going to stick to our standard ratio, about 50%, 45 to 50% of water to the flour. We'll just put in about a couple, maybe a tablespoon full of oil, two, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of yeast, two teaspoons of sugar. Okay, this time I'm using bread flour and warm water because since I'm making a flatbread I want gluten. We need gluten with this one. So warm water, bread flour, high gluten bread flour. Let's work on this one. Now, Normally I would set up my yeast in the warm water with some flour, make sure it, uh, it will activate, but this is brand new yeast, so I know it's good, it's not been sitting out, so it's good, so I just skipped that step. Alright, here's my dough ball, got some resistance because it's high gluten, push it back, it wants to bite you gluten and normally I'd make tortillas at about 45 grams I want these thicker I might not make them as big so I'm gonna do 75 grams and we'll press them out see how they come out okay my pans heated up I let the dough rest a little bit before I press them but unlike tortillas it's better off for a dry pan you can get away with oil and flatbreads. So just a little squirt, nothing major. Spread it around good. You don't need a whole lot. Just give the bread a little glisten, you know. A little glistening effect. I'm going to attempt to try and press one out on camera so you guys can see how my disc is working. Put it right in the middle. Put your dough ball right in the middle. Do a little nudge down. Take the second disc. Put it on top. Now, take your lid. Bring it down. And gently push it down. Give her a spin. I didn't quite get that on your feet. Give her a little spin. Maybe a quarter turn. Push it down again. Give her another turn then maybe you can apply a little pressure to it now remember these are thick and I'm gonna make them thick so I don't want to push them out too much that there will probably be plenty but I give her a little turn see how I turn it just like that give her a little turns here and there now as I keep turning it, it will bring it more towards the edge. See how this side over here is all the way to the edge already. But this side here, over here, is not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to half it. Push it down. And that should, see how it brought it closer to the edge? See how this one here, how this edge is not quite there I'm gonna half that now this is gonna be way too thin for flatbread I'm gonna let you know right now I didn't want to make it that big but I figured I do want to show you how show you how this deal works press it down there you can see how that brought that closer look here a little gap there right I mean that, that, this here is plenty good I would take that off but I'm just doing this for demonstration 
Watch. Press it down. <clears throat> look how close it brought that. Now look. <laughs> Nothing on this. Nothing there. No cleanup required. Your deal is in here, right? Just peel it off. Look how it's stuck to one. This one's clean. It's stuck to this. I'm going to cut and I'm going to show you the pan. Like I said, this is way too thin for flatbread. But look at that. Peeled right off. No problem. Just take and flop your deal on your pan. Brought it right over to it. Let her cook. This is my first one. So I don't know if I got my temp set right or not, but we'll see. I don't normally let the front side cook too much. I like to turn that over early. And then let the other side cook. I think I'm going to have to bring the heat up just a hair. Or just a hair. Take a look and see what we look like. A little bit more. Okay. Flip her over again. That should be a final cook right there. Uh, let me show you here. Get on there, you brute. There you have it. Now the, the further ones out I'm not going to make is thin. They're going to be thicker because I want to use them for sandwich bread. There. What can you do? You know? Works good. Get these things. Save yourselves a lot of headache guys. They work. You know, sometimes my mind ain't quite right, but sometimes the shit that comes out of my head Fucking golden, baby! Golden! Alright. Here's the finished product. Cuts off there. They're soft to the mother. I mean, you can bend them up. Make them into a taco. Whatever. Let's make a sandwich real quick. A couple pieces of sliced turkey breast from Walmart. Lay that in there. No flakes from heaven. No cheese. Nope. Off to the nuker. It goes. All right. Put some tomatoes on. Gotta have our veggies. For you keto guys. <laughs> keto, whatever. All right. A little lettuce. Just to juice it up a little bit more. Holy shit, did you see that, people? Look at that. <laughs> Pretty awesome. That'll be a dunker. Holy crap, did it come out of there. God bless it. All right. I'm going to have fun working with this son of a bitch now because of all this juice. I was just planning on flipping it over. Now with all this ranch on there, that's gonna be a mess, boys. I can't even grab it. Well, you just seen a major, major lasso. Anyhow, I'm gonna eat it one way or the other. I gotta use a knife, fork, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna eat it. Yep, gonna have to use a knife and fork on it, well, fellas. Damn ranch just uh, ruined the whole deal. Damn you ranch. That's all right, I can cut into it. Cut into it and eat it. That's fine. Look at that ranch. Oh my god. There you go, Keno boys. Keto boys. I don't know if you're allowed to have ranch, but that's enough on there to make everything happy. Mm. Tastes good. Tastes real good. 
Brad's holding up to that ranch. That's a plus. All right, fellas. See you later.